back to my channel. I got my wig cap on. So you know what we're doing? We're doing a wig review. Um, I actually have somewhere to go. And so I am hoping that this wig works out because I'm already like have my face on and I'm right to go. So anywho, we are going to do an older unit and this is Model Model's Deep Invisible Part Wig. Her name is Jastic and I have her in the color OM430. P says she's heat safe up to 400 degrees and that it is a hand tied parting scooped up from Glamour Trust for a random $20.76. This is Miss Jastic. Look at the coloring on her. I'm dying for the coloring and I want to brush her out but I'm going to wait um, because I want you to see what she looks like straight out of the pack. Um, parting's really not that bad. The only thing so far, well, Two combs in the front, one next to the part, one set wide. Uh, comb in the back, adjustable straps. The only thing that... So, it's a lace part wig. It's not a lace front. It does feel just, like, thick here. And not thick, like, even in the cap. It's like, if you can see, there's, like, a lot of hair. It is a light, yakky texture. And the hair right here is yakkier. So, it just seems thick, like, in hair. Not even in wig cap, which is usually the problem that you get. Let's try her on and see what we are dealing with here. Okay, Jastic. All right, she's not, she's not bad. Jastic is a right-sided part. She, she smells a little, she smells a little fishy. She smells a little fishy, actually. You know, this is the second Model Model. I think the other one was Passion Meadow that I got that had a funny smell. So I'm going to have to get my um OGX coconut miracle oil dry shampoo to me this is super fragrance and I only use it usually for ways that I'm going to sell just so that I make sure that there's like no weird smell or anything but this one is going to need it because she stinks anywho let's look yeah she's definitely a right-sided part ear tabs aren't even bad um I love her. All the hair to the front. So she is probably about 20, 22 inches. Um, she does get a little bit darker. Coloring is gorgeous. So let me see what the hairline's a little funny, but it is a lace part and she does do that swoop thing. So I think that that would be fine. Let me try to get this chick together and then we will see what we're working with and I'll come back and we'll talk about it. <music>
skeptical and majestic for a minute but I really love this wig for a lot of reasons and I'm going to tell you why first off I I did need to set this there's a lot of hair here but as you could see as long as you just sort of like pin it down and just keep really like melting these fibers down melting them down running this it really does lay really nicely and flat and the other thing I really love is the fact that like this is not all the hair to the front, but this would be so cute, like cut off at this length. So she does have that capability, which I am loving. I mean, the color is stunning. I really love how she ended up um, laying down. I love this curl pattern. She is that light yakky texture. Um, once I put a little bit of a little bit of the dry shampoo, that weird smell. It's gone now, so that's good. Sometimes you just need the the real the real good stuff of the dry shampoo, the the stuff that I wouldn't normally wear because it's too fragmented. This is all the hair to the front, so she is only about 20 inches. I say only because normally I have them um, be much, much longer. Let's look at her from the back. I got some new ink back there. I'm like on my tiptoes, I got a lot of ink back there. I just got that, so. If you want to see my new um, tattoos and stuff and like the story behind them, go visit my Instagram. Okay, yeah. Oh, I love the coloring. Movement is nice. Nice, nice, nice movement. That's all of her. Oh, yeah. I'm digging Jessica. I would say the wig cap is maybe a little bit like it's not a a large wig cap it's not small but it's definitely 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 not large um i did lay these baby hairs down um they probably could have stand to have sort of a like a scarf to lay them down but they're staying down pretty nicely and like i said i just trained those hairs I don't know. I'm loving her. I love this color and I don't normally, this is like my real hair color and I almost never wear wigs that are like brown. I always, I just always want to be a blonde. Um, this is all the hair to the front. So it's a nice density. It's not too, too bad. Yeah, I'm getting ready to go out. So I'm going to wear her out. I would say, honestly, it's, it's summer here, but it just started to be, well, it's June 1st or something. It's the first of June around here. So, um, it's not quite super hot yet. So I would say though, if, you, if you're in a very, very warm climate, she is a little bit warm. I have to say that she is a little bit warm. So I would keep that in mind, um, depending on like your climate and things like that. I don't know, I'm digging her. Uh, the thing is she reminds me a lot of January, which is one of my favorite wigs from Free Trust Equal. I swear they're the same company. I really do. I feel like they're the, the same company. Even like their color names and everything. Um, if you want me to do a comparison of this wig and the January wig, I can. I almost already want to get another one of her. It's so funny because I was like not feeling her. But I almost want to get a backup of her because I love her that much. And I did just get backups of January because I love her that much. So it makes sense. This is the end result. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you have, I appreciate it. You know, um, I just love interacting with people. So go ahead and comment, ask any questions. Um, and I hope you have a super fabulous day or night or whatever. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.